Aaron, with the way Domingo Herman pitched into the eighth inning, just how demoralizing is it to lose that one the way you guys did? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> really tough one, obviously. Um, Domingo was terrific. Um, yeah, I mean, a, a, a tough one that we've got to get past. And and obviously, heading into an off day and, and a you know huge series coming up with, with Tampa. But yeah, uh, another extremely tough one. Louisa clearly wasn't sharp there in that eighth inning. What do you attribute that to? I don't know. I mean, obviously, you know, <clears throat> coming back, you know, and back-to-back -back days here, uh, looked like he just missed on the plate with a lot of pitches. Um, so, and and they, you know, they capitalized when they got pitches on in the middle of the plate. They they were able to sting him. So, um, you know, not his day. Um, so, you know, J Johnny's been so so good all season obviously so just not his day as far as location went Aaron how do you regroup as the team there were two very difficult losses in this series like they have all year um these guys have handled and dealt with adversity um you know we've dealt with it in this series and bounced back and and I know we'll do it again can you go next Eric Bolin Aaron, I, I know he had not thrown more than 80 pitches, I think, since June 13th. Um, was there any consideration just because he had been so pitch efficient to leaving Domingo in there even after their Purdue go ahead? No, I, I, I didn't want to go past much past 80 today as it was. And then, you know, you know I already knew we were kind of in that, you know, danger zone a little bit. And so just kind of going hitter to hitter at that point. Um, you know, Verdugo put a good swing on him, and you know we're set up uh, at the back end, and um, you know just just couldn't get it done today. But Domingo was was dominant. But no, I, you know it was hitter to hitter at that point. Aaron, I'm sure there's games where you look back and, and second guess yourself, or at least question yourself on things. Is this one of those where it's as a manager, there's really nothing much you can do. You've got the Isaco, who's been really good all year, great set up. Yeah, presumably maybe could have closed that really your your help was in that spot. Um yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, you feel good about it, how we're set up right there. And you know, Domingo obviously pitches a tremendous game and puts us in a great position. And you know, they they just, you know, they were able to get to Johnny today and and to, to be the difference. Um, you know, so <clears throat> You know, they put some really good swings on balls. So, um, you know, it's, it's another well-played game by our guys. You know, they continue to grind and continue to play well, and we got to continue to do that. We go next to Dave Lennon. Hey, Aaron, in, in the eighth with that Ploiecki at bat with Fernandez mm -hmm. at third, but I, I couldn't tell. Was the, was the infield at, at mid-range in the, in the two middle guys, or, or where, where were they? They weren't no. all the way up, right? We're at, in at the corners yeah. and back in the middle. And, and that, you know, that's, that's the one where, you know, think about going all the way in there with no outs. I just didn't want to get beat on something soft with no outs. Uh, so had the middle back, um, you know, in hindsight, that's, that's the one that you kind of question myself about, like, yeah, should we have just, you know, sold out with no outs there? Um, you know, that, that's certainly, that, that's certainly debatable. Thank you. Yeah. Can we go next to Dan Martin? Aaron, that was what I wanted to ask you about as well. When you say you didn't want to get beat on something soft, you mean on a, on a base hit that would have gotten through yeah. the infield? Yeah, where, you know, with no outs, with one out, obviously it's a no-brainer where we're, we're all the way in there. Um, with the, you know, go-ahead run out at second and no outs, just felt like, uh, you know, I didn't want something soft to beat us or, or something to squib, squib through there to beat us. So, um, decided to just go in at the corners with no outs. Have you have, have do you remember being part of a season that where where there a team has tried to come back from this many uh, kind of devastating losses? I mean, it just seems um, like it's one after another. Yeah, I mean, this this definitely seems like you know, especially over the last you know month or month and a half. You know, we've we've had we've had some really tough ones that we've had to get past and get through, and and time and time again, these guys have done it, and uh, you know. 
continue to reveal their character. And, and look, it's, it's, it's been a difficult season to this point, no question about it, but, you know, to these guys credit, they continue to get off the mat time and time again, and, and we'll do it again. Brett Joyce, who's on the Aaron, if Herman had gotten for Dugo there, was there a number you had in mind for him where you were going to pull him or did he have a chance to finish that? Yeah, it was just batter to batter. You know, I, I was certainly a little uncomfortable, you know, where we were, but, you know, given as efficient as he was and as well as he was pitching and obviously not having given up a hit yet, I was going to let him go, you know, batter to batter there and, and continue to have to make a decision.